Hey YouTubers, X Factor here with some CTF footage with one of the boys from NCIX, and I'm using the M4A1, and this could be called Lightning Round. Why? Because our team successfully pulls three flags in a row in under seven minutes. So you go, team. The past 10 days has been a pretty exciting time if you're a current PC gamer or you're looking to get into the PC gaming market. Why? Because the 700 series cards have been released. Last week I featured some benchmarks from Battlefield 3 and a review on the 780. That'll be linked down below if you want to check that out. It's a beast of a card, but it's expensive. It isn't exactly what I'd call a value buy, but if you want one of the best cards on the market, there comes a price tag with that. So how did NVIDIA follow up? What did they do? They brought out the 770, which to me is a 680 on steroids. How similar are the GTX 680 and the GTX 770? Strikingly. Scary. Now let's go over some of these similarities. First, they both use the Kepler technology. Next, let's talk about the actual guts to the card. Shader processors, they both use 1536. Texture units, they both use 128. ROP units, they both use 32. So how is this any different than the GTX 680? Well, they changed one thing. They went to GDDR5 RAM, more bandwidth at the higher end, and they put the pedal to the metal on several of the speeds of the card. So in essence, it is a rebadged 680, but they're getting quite a bit more performance for this thing. First off, graphics core speed. They went up about 40 megahertz, 1,000 versus 1,046. Next is memory clock, and here's a big one. They went from 1502 to 1750. And obviously, memory bandwidth. With that GDDR5, you're going to be moving a lot more. The 680 moved 192 gigabytes a second. The new 770, 224 gigabytes a second. And of course, with that comes more power consumption. You're roughly going to be using 230 watts up to 250. So if you're going to use one, they suggest a 550 power supply. Make sure it's of high quality. If you're going to run two, they suggest bumping that up to at least a 750 watt power supply. Enough jibber jabber. How about a Battlefield 3 benchmark? And for these numbers to make sense, we need to know what they were running and at what settings. First, it was Operation Swordbreaker, which is pretty brutal on the GPU. Next, they set it at Ultra and cranked everything through the roof. 16 times AF was enabled. HBAO was enabled. Four times MSAAAA was enabled. That is absolute brutal settings. And as you can see, these resolutions are higher resolutions. All this stuff is above 1080p. So if you're running those same settings at 1080p with a nice i7, you're going to get a lot more frames with that. If you tweak the settings and lower it to something that I run, you're going to probably add 20, 30, 40, 50 frames on top of that. Right? So as you can see, the 7970 gigahertz boost edition's on there. The 780 is also in there, and this card falls in between the two. Performs pretty well at these higher resolutions and higher settings. So again, think about how that will scale with what your system has or your settings that you like to run. For me, it's all about frame performance. I'll cut down a little bit of the pretty stuff as long as I can stay above 121 frames because that fluidity is everything for me. I'm gonna try something here and it might not work out. So we talked about the striking similarities between the GTX 680 and the GTX 770, but Nvidia made some tweaks. So how does it play out? Well, remember this graph is 1200 resolution at crazy settings and it is outperforming the GTX 680. Use this to compare your card on the market right now or the cards you might potentially be thinking of buying or upgrading. This graph is absolutely great for that puts everything in perspective and as we can see the 7990 is just whooping everybody's ass behind that's the 690 the titan and the 780 and in my opinion the titan was overpriced the 780 is overpriced the question is this how much more expensive is the gtx 770 than the gtx 680 it can't be much more, right? Because the performance is what? Roughly 10%, not overclocked, just a reference version. What if I told you this card was roughly $150 less 
than the GTX 680 in the United States. And that was the value I was looking for with the GTX 780 and or the Titan. So since this is a 680 and they tweaked it some, how much room is there to overclock? Well, the four or five groups that did reviews on this that I read, they all messed with it and they all got 10 to 15% more gains when overclocking in Battlefield 3, Crisis 3, and a litany of other ass-kicking titles on the market. So there is more room and even more value that's in that $399 to $450 price range. Don't forget, there are other manufacturers out there that are producing this card, putting their own nice little touches and overclocks on the card. I'm going to put some links down below uh, to my Amazon store so you can check out some of this. I'm also going to put some links down below of a couple different reviews. Most of you guys know I didn't purchase a Titan. I thought the GTX 780s were too overpriced for what they have to offer. But this one's the one that turned my head. I currently run GTX 670s from EVGA in SLI mode, which are slightly overclocked. I get great frames and great performance. And this is the one card that turned my head in this lineup so far that said, hey, this is a pretty good setup. You could get two cards for 800 bucks and... It'd be an absolute beast of a setup. You'd be absolutely set up for Battlefield 4 and for anything else that can come out in probably the next two years. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them below. Don't forget to check out the links to the different reviews and read up on it. And if you're thinking about upgrading or getting into PC gaming, take a look at some of these charts that are on these reviews. This will put in perspective what money you're about to spend and what kind of performance you can get. It's trial and error done for you. Thanks for watching YouTube, and as always, we will see you soon.